patients would say something like, you know, doc, I think my pace is shorter. And we were like, no, no, it can't be shorter. It's like you're a little bit heavier, you know, the, the, your body has changed. And then people kept saying that. And I was like, you know what, let's check. And so we actually did a study when I was a resident and we started measuring penises uh, before and after a prostatectomy. And then we measured how things would change if they used a vacuum device afterwards. And lo and behold, yeah, penises do get shorter after prostatectomy. On average, one to two centimeters in about 70% of men who get a prostate surgery. So it's not everybody, but most people have some shortening. So then the next question should be, well, why is that? It isn't because you're shortening the urethra or the penis, right? When you do a prostatectomy, you essentially take out the prostate, put it in a bucket, and then you bring the bladder to the urethra, which is fixed at the urogenital pelvic diaphragm, right? So you're not actually shortening anything inside. Other types of patients report shorter penises. Whenever the penis goes in the garage for six months, seriously goes in the garage and like there's no signs of life, it gets shorter. People with um, radiation who, any or severe trauma to the penis where you're not getting normal nighttime erections, uh, the penis shortens. Why is it? Well, the penis is a soft, stretchy tissue, but when it doesn't get exercised properly, it becomes brittle. And so when you try to stretch this now no longer stretchy tissue, it's not as long. It's as simple as that. The, the penis actually scars, and so it doesn't stretch as far. And that's where the majority of shortening occurs. The other place where it occurs is when you actually have Peyronie's disease, a kind of trauma or an insult to the strength of the penis, the tunica albuginea, and literally you are locking that part of the penis in place so it can't stretch anymore. And if you took a balloon and you put a piece of tape on it, you'd be doing the same thing. Blow up the balloon, it's gonna curve right towards where the tape goes. It's exactly what happens to the penis. Where the scar is, that's the direction the curve happens. Sometimes you can have Peyronie's disease that encircles the entire penis, so it doesn't curve, but indeed it can't stretch as far, so it also, also can be shorter. So there are many reasons the penis can get shorter. The moral of the story is, is we wanna exercise it so it can't get shorter. So then, exercising prior to surgery is useful? Well, presumably prior to surgery, the patients are getting normal nighttime erections. They're having sex occasionally. They're getting erections spontaneously. And so we're getting good blood flow to the area and the penis is being exercised kind of on its own. It's free exercise. But now after the prostatectomy, it's not getting the, the same amount of blood flow and it's not getting these natural nighttime erections. People are not having sex or not trying to have sex because they know it's probably not going to work. So when I talk about exercise, I talk about literally stretching the penis with a vacuum device. And when we did that, the patients didn't get shorter because you kept the, the, the tissue soft and stretchy as well. So most surgeons will put patients now these days on PD-5 inhibitors, a class of drugs that help with erections, you know, the Viagra Levitra Cialis that you see in the commercial. So that's part of most penile rehab programs. Um, use penile injections earlier in function. Because the other thing that happens when the penis shortens, which is sometimes irreversible, is that the, the venous mechanism within the penis, the, the, the thing that traps blood in the penis, kind of gets broken. And once you have venous leak, that's kind of non-correctable except with surgery. And unfortunately, the vast majority of patients who get prostatectomy that have no erections for six months after surgery, they get venous leak. So they need an implant to get good success.